Howdy UCC and C users. Uh, this is just a quick demo of some recently added fourth axis surface probing to probe it for UCNC. This just shows uh, some surface probing on an object on, held on a rotary. And uh, you can see that uh, the display on the computer with the, the 3D viewport, you've got uh, good control to uh, see what kind of data you're collecting as you get it. Got the ability to change your, your view from a top or an ISO, drag it around, pan and zoom, uh, rotate it with the mouse to get a good view of, of what you're looking at. In this view, you can see the, the gray cylinder that's a predefined manually defined grid of points to take and uh, so it's going to be probing for quite a while so now I've moved into my house and I'm just checking in on the probing with a remote desktop app um, so you can see you while uh, the machine is running unattended you've got the ability to kind of check in and, and see the progress with the viewport window you can see where the the probe is all the time during the moves And uh, the viewport, you can see, you can turn on and off visibility of items such as the probe grid, the predefined grid of, of what you plan to collect. Um, you can see here the, the green points or lines is the data that's actually been collected. So you can see that, you know, you define a grid and then it, it actually records separately where that data actually occurred. And so we'll just let this run to the end. Uh, so now the probing's complete. I've moved into my office. I'm just pulling up the data that was collected from, from running for several hours out in the shop. Uh, you can reload that data into a different uh, instance of Probit, look it over, and, and uh, pan zoom it. Um, what you'll see here is that uh, the actual rotation and how it's displayed in space in the viewport window is tied to the actual rotary axis. So by uh, even though I'm in demo mode here in my office with UCNC, if I enable the rotary and spin it around, you can rotate the data and get a good look at it. So this was just a visual over check to make sure that we got what we thought we were going to get and that all the points were collected. So then you move off into another app like uh, MeshLab where you import the point cloud data which is just comma separated text values and you have to import it. Uh, here you can see uh, you pull in all those points you had in Probit and now it's in MeshLab but uh, the data isn't totally useful. You've got to do some um, processing. You've got to set normals uh, to define which surface is outwards or inwards. So I'll kind of fumble around and do that. When you get bright yellow points, that means you've defined the normals and which, which way is out for the surface. So you apply that. And then you've got to actually apply the surface, which there's a couple of different ways to do that. I think the ball pivoting um, routine is the best I've found. Um, I'm still not uh, very good at it. As you can tell, I'm kind of fumbling around trying to pick settings and figure out what to do. But uh, this could give you just a general idea of what you do with, with the probe uh, point cloud data you've collected out of Probit. So there I started two cores. It, it made a mesh surface with some holes in it. So I'll refine the size down, run it again. And if you zoom in and you see there's still some holes in it. I don't have all the settings quite right in Mesh Lab, but this should give you an idea that uh, you can generate a surface off of point cloud data. So 
So I think with a little more practice, I could probably get something usable. But uh, eventually, you know, the goal is to create like an STL or uh, some other solid model type that you could use in your CAM program to, to replicate a surface. So this was just a quick demo kind of showing uh, what's been added to Probit recently. So thanks for watching.